What is up fellow preppers? Just wanted to do a video to keep you up to date with what's going on. Um, we've not stopped prepping, we keep prepping. Thing is, is I'm not doing dedicated preps that I can always film on the channel. Sometimes I'm shopping for all sorts of other things and just adding a few preps as I go along. And I found that's the best way to do it. Now, speaking of preps, it's a good job I have. Now, some of you will have seen the video where this cupboard was absolutely full. But I think obviously running up to Christmas, you've got a lot more expense. So don't be ashamed if you have to go into your preps because look, this was a full stack. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tins of beans and sausage. That's what the teenager's been through. That's not an issue. It's great because it just shows that it's worth prepping. That's where rice pudding's gone as well. It's worth doing it because even when times are hard, or you've just got that extra expense like me around Christmas. Don't be ashamed, don't be think, be afraid to tuck into your preps. Just remember when you go shopping to top them up again. It's also a great way of keeping rotated. Rather than just stocking a garage full of food, a hundred tins in your garage and then not touching it for five years, this way I know it's stuff that we're eating, I know it's stuff we're going through and I know there's always going to be that stock rotation. As soon as I buy new tins they don't go at the front, they go to the back. So it's always used from the front. You don't always have to tuck your preps away and not touch them. You can use them if you cycle them as you're using them through your everyday life then if you don't use them, touch wood, we never have to use them, but if you don't use them for 10, 20 years, it's not going to be a 20 year old tin of beans in there. You've got to have cycled through it so many times that it's going to be the last lot you got. Additional stuff we've added recently is we've just started getting more and more water, stockpiling the water. I'm starting to utilize these shelves a lot more that are behind my desk. And I've got all my bug out army gear. I've got my bug out box, which is a great video on. I've literally just started to get a few more things because I'm putting together um, a couple of medical bags. Um, one for the bug out box, one for the car, and one as an everyday carry. There's also the Faraday box that we made the other day with all my batteries and stuff like that in there. So what else is going on um, without going into the news and World War Three that's kicking off all over the place and solar flares that could have hit us and might not hit us and all that lot. Everything else is great. Um, we're cracking on. Uh, everyone in the household is behind this now and everyone's getting involved and making sure that we've got stuff ready, including a blanket and a set of clothes for everybody involved. And we're looking at alternative ways of heating. Got some great lanterns from Ikea the other day. Been testing that with all different types of candles. Turns out the best ones are the dinner candles, the tall ones. They give off the most heat and the most light. Not for a very long time, but a great quick boost. So, yeah. That's about it, guys. Other than that, we're concentrating on keeping fit, keeping prepped, and keeping going and keeping our eye on the news. Side note, my other channel, which is Keto King UK, which I'll link below in the description, I'm doing a Q&A on soon. So if you're interested in any of that, or if you'd just like to ask me a general question, make sure you head over to the next video that's going to be uploaded on there and add a question in the comments. All right, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.